Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom, and today I am going to share a grocery haul with you guys. This is going to be a part one and two kind of grocery haul because I just went and got all of this meat today from the meat market. And I ordered some groceries online. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow, so when I get those, I will just add them to the end of this video. So, I hope you enjoy seeing everything that I do get from the grocery store and all this stuff that I got from the meat market today. Um, all of this that you see on the table cost $108. So let me show you what I got. I actually did get a little something besides meat too right there. I'm going to show you that. And I do want to say that I still got meat in my freezer. I still got like a Boston Bud. I still got about um, three or four packs of chicken. And I think one thing is sausage. So I still, you know, I'm, so I'm not completely out of meat. But my husband wanted to go down there and restock our freezer. So that's what we did. So let me show you what all I got today. Um, we picked up four packs of these leg quarters. Um, there's about two, four, six, eight. Looks like ten in that one. Looks like about 10, and 10 pieces of chicken in that one. It's either 8, 2, and 1 under there, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, that'd be 10 pieces of chicken in that one pack. Of course, I'll have to cut it up. Um, $3.04. This one here has, looks like, 8 pieces in it. It's $2.51. This one is $2.50. It looks like it's got about... Two, four, six, eight, and that one also. It's got eight pieces for two dollars and forty-seven cents. So two forty-seven, two fifty, three oh four. That one's a little bit more because it's got two extra pieces of chicken in it, and then two fifty-one. Now what we picked up different was these. They have other different kinds of like bag foods and vegetables and different things in there. And most of the time I don't get it because I I feel like I could get. That prepackaged stuff a little cheaper at Aldi's or Walmart. But these caught my eye, and I'm like, I was, I was like, what are those? So, you know, we got to looking at them. Well, they're called Delta Pride. Let's see, U.S. Farm Raised Catfish Southern something. Hush puppies made with real buttermilk, but they're jalapeno flavor. So we thought we would try those. They look like they be might be pretty good. Hush puppies. So we got those. Those were $3.59 for the bag. We don't usually eat hush puppies, but we thought we'd try them out. Just see what they taste like. Okay, I got a couple things of sausage here. We always get the hot. It's just a little bit more flavorful. But it's not it's not real hot spicy. It's just got a little bit more flavor to it. Um, we got this one is $4.61. And these are like um, pound, a pound a piece, uh, four fifty five, and four seventy four. Some of them's like one point one, and one point oh six. You know, so the prices do vary a little bit on each one of them. So one pound sausages here, three of those. We got quite a bit of ground beef because we were um, down to like one pack of ground beef left, I think. So I got eight of them, about a pound a piece. Um, this one was 401, 403, 399, 401, 399, 399, 401, and 415. That one's got a little bit more in it than the other ones. So got all of those as eight packs of hamburger meat. We picked up two of their bacons, and I thought these looked pretty good. And I like that they're a little bit thick cut, so that's a good thing. Um, these were $6.02, and then this one was $6.17. So we got two of those. And then we decided to get some pork chops. And there's one, two, three, four like five pork chops in that one it was five dollars seventeen cents this one has one two three four looks like five so they probably all got five 
This one was $5. Good looking pork chops. They usually put the worst looking ones on the bottom. That's them too. They they have a little bit more uh, fat fat, and not as pretty as the ones on top. Um, and these here were $5.20. They're really good though because we eat pork chops about every week. And uh, they're really good. And of course we had to get some of these steaks that we like. Um, these are not quite as big as the ones I got last time. So they are a little bit cheaper. The ones I bought last time were like, I think $7 a piece, but they were huge. These are Chuck Steak Boneless. They're really good steaks. We love them. This one was $4.98. I got this one here for $4.74. I got that one for $5.26. It's a little bit bigger. And then that last one there was $4.92. So... Everything here costs $108 and a little bit of change. So we usually try to keep it under $100, which we would have if we hadn't got the hush puppies. So, you know, we did go over a little bit. And uh, maybe one pack. We got an extra pack of pork chops we don't normally get. We normally just buy two packs of pork chops. So we did go over $8. So we did try to keep it under 100 But anyway... That's all the meat that I got for my grocery haul this week. and um, So now we're going to snap forward and I already have my groceries here so I can show them to you. Okay guys, here is the second part of my grocery haul. I did a Aldi's pickup today and this is everything that I got. I didn't have to have a whole lot, but this still cost me about 122 bucks. So... I can't get groceries as cheap as I used to. Okay, first thing I got was a whole gallon of milk. I'd actually put a half a gallon on my thing. And I was like, I know half a gallon ain't going to be enough. Especially when I got my creamer stuff I like. So I went ahead and changed it and got me a whole gallon of 2% milk. This is the Friendly Farms 2% milk. I got these classic... Boulder Classic, six in a pack, paper towels, because I ran out of paper towels about two days ago. I usually keep them stocked up, but I haven't been getting any lately, so I finally ran out. So I went ahead and got me a little six pack of those. I got these Clancy's Kettle Chips Mesquite Barbecue. I like these. These are really good. I don't eat a lot of chips, but... I like these. They're really good. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of those. Those are in the 8 ounce pack. I picked us up some more popcorn because we only got like one pack left. This is the Clancy's Movie Theater Butter Popcorn. And you get six bags in that box. I picked me up one box of these Fit and Active Calorie Snack Packs that I like. I like to eat these with my light Cool Whip. I got one. I thought I ordered about three of these, but I must have accidentally knocked it off. So I only ended up ordering one of these because I'm getting kind of low in these. I need to restock on them. This is just a cornbread flavor. Sometimes I'll get turkey flavor, chicken flavor, just whatever. I'll use any of it. I don't really care about what flavor it is. So anyway, I only got one box of that. Now this here is something that they replaced. I ordered... A big pack of the um, Black Forest ham that I always get, but they didn't have it, so they give me this, which is not a very big pack. It's only six ounces. It don't have a lot of meat in it, so maybe three sandwiches worth. But anyway, it's uncured Black Forest ham by Simply Nature Organic. Okay, I got one cabbage head here. It's kind of small, but I think it'll do for what I'm going to use it for. I got one loaf of this um, Lovin' Fresh White Sandwich Bread. I picked up some hot dogs. These are just for my husband to munch on. He likes to just throw them on bread. Sometimes he eats them by their cell. So I like to keep something like that in the fridge for him to munch on. So Parkview Classic Hot Dogs. You get eight weenies in a pack i got some of these part view cheddar brats 
You get six in a pack on those. Okay, I picked up some of this Country Side Creamer Sweet Cream Butter Salted. You get four sticks, one pound, um, one pound package. I picked up some of this Lunch Mate Bologna, 16 ounces. We usually like the thick bologna, but they don't really have thick bologna at Aldi, so I had to get what I could. So, got that. I picked up my husband some of this Casa Mamita Salsa Con Queso. I think that's how you say that. Medium. Got him a jar of that. Got another jar of the Mild Chunky Salsa. Um, I got these brown eggs because my husband don't really like the white eggs from Aldi. So I thought we'd try these because I don't know if you've been to Walmart lately, but their eggs are outrageous. So this was my cheaper route to go with the brown eggs, which we've eaten brown eggs before. I don't mind eating brown eggs at all. Um, these are actually probably better for us because they're... Uh, no growth hormones and all that good stuff. Cage free, all that. So anyway, that's what we're having. I got two of the 12 packs of those because y'all know the big boxes that I normally get at Walmart that are normally like 5 to $7. They're $14 and something now. So I'm like, no, I'm not spending that much on eggs. This right here at Walmart would cost me $9 for two 12 packs pretty much. I'm like, no, it's crazy. How much eggs are right now so that's why i went with these they're a little bit cheaper on us um mama cozy's pepperonis that's just a little six ounce bag i got some more sharp cheddar cheese by family farms i got two packs of these clancy wave potato chips two bags of those those are the what's that about that 10 ounce bags all right, I picked up three tomatoes. I don't normally get tomatoes, but I got some because I'm thinking about making a little, my little cabbage recipe this week, and I, it calls for a little bit of tomatoes. I ordered an English cucumber, and they didn't have any, so this is what I got. One cucumber. But that's better than no cucumbers, right? So I got that. Got a little pack of green onions. I'm going to try a recipe that I've seen on um, one of my friend's YouTube channel, and it has a little bit of onions in it, so that's why I got those. This is asparagus. I got two packs of asparagus. I got a pack of these baby cut carrots. These are organic bunny love. I got one head of lettuce. I got four cans of these uh, whole new potatoes by Happy Harvest. I needed to replace some of them, so I got four of those. I got three of the Happy Harvest Cut Green Beans. I got three of the Happy Harvest Very Young Small Sweet Peas. I got two of these Brookdale Beef Stews. This is mostly just stuff that I needed to replace in my pantry. Um, Happy Harvest Whole Kernel Corn, three of those. I got four of these little cans of mushrooms by Happy Harvest. Okay, here I got this Fit and Active Light Cool Whip. That's what I eat with my little chocolate cookies over there. I got two of these Friendly Farms French Onion Dip made with real sour cream. These are good. We got some of these last time. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, I'd recommend trying this. It's really, really good and really flavorful if you like chips and dip. All right. Season's Choice Extra Fine Green Beans. I got two of these Bremer garlic chickens. I love these things. They got pasta and corn and broccoli and carrots, all that good stuff in it. With a really good sauce and it, they taste good. I got two packs of zucchinis and two packs of, of the um, squash. And the reason I ended up with two each is because they don't really say on the Aldi's app if you're getting one zucchini and one squash or you're getting one pack so i'm like if i order one and i only get one zucchini and one squash it's not going to be enough i wish they would go in there and change that where you know that you are getting a whole pack so now i got two packs of zucchini two packs of yellow squash 
So anyway, so right here I got a bag of the Seasons Choice Steak Fries. I got a thing of Half and Half by Friendly Farms. It's just a little um, 32 ounce. I got two of these chicken egg rolls. We have these sometimes for lunch, snack, something like that. Um, I got two of these caramel macchiato coffee creamer. Um, I tried to get the coconut, but they were out, so they give me those instead. I got one box of these Bremer corn dogs. You get six corn dogs in a box. And then I got the Clancy's restaurant style tortilla chips that I always get to go with some of the dips we got. So that is everything that I got this week from Aldi's and from the meat market. That's why you don't see a lot of meat here because I, I got it all at the meat market. So anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing everything that I got this week in my grocery haul. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new posts or new videos. Because you don't want to miss a thing, right? So, I'm going to go. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.